Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and more of Summer Under the Stars. Since August 1st, we've featured the movies of a different actor each day, a full 24-hour marathon of their films. Up next, my second favorite Joe Cotton picture. I'm really duty-bound to have Citizen Kane in the top spot. Oh, you know, wait, I forgot about the third man. This might be my third favorite Joe Cotton movie. You know what? It's an informal list. The top three are really interchangeable. This is an Alfred Hitchcock thriller that he often cited as his best film. From Universal in 1943, Cotton stars with Teresa Wright in Shadow of a Doubt. The movie is set in an idyllic California town, Santa Rosa in Sonoma County, wine country, roughly 50 miles north of San Francisco. Hitchcock shot the film there, too. Teresa Wright plays Charlie Newton, a teenager in town, named after her favorite uncle, that's Cotton. When Uncle Charlie comes for a visit, his clever niece begins to suspect something about her uncle, the man she idolizes, is off, perhaps dangerously so. As is the case in many Hitchcock films, the director allows the audience to be a step or two ahead of his characters. We know from the opening scene that Teresa Wright's instincts about her uncle are right. Hitchcock had been working in the States since 1939, just four years, living in Hollywood. He knew little of life in small-town America. To remedy that, he hired two experts to write the screenplay, our town playwright Thornton Wilder and Sally Benson, who wrote the novel Meet Me in St. Louis. As I mentioned, Shadow of a Doubt was shot on location in Santa Rosa, California, too far from Hollywood to be affected by Screen Actors Guild guidelines demanding the use of professional actors. Hitchcock used real residents of Santa Rosa as extras. He even cast a few in smaller roles, most notably Teresa Wright's precocious sister Anne, played by Edna Mae Wanicott, and her friend Catherine, played by Estelle Jewell. The grassroots casting, the picturesque small-town locations, and the script, which is tense and funny, possessing exactly the right amount of quirkiness, all play a role in delivering a message that Hitchcock was really interested in that evil lurks everywhere, even in the wholesome setting of small-town America. The result is one of Hitchcock's best movies, certainly one of his most unnerving. From 1943, also with Patricia Collins, who always shines, as well as McDonald Carey, Henry Travers, and Hume Cronin in his movie debut, Shadow of a Doubt. Before shooting Shadow of a Doubt, Joseph Cotton, who was not used to playing the villain, much less a sociopathic serial killer, asked his director, Alfred Hitchcock, to help him get inside the head of Uncle Charlie. In response, Hitchcock took Cotton for a stroll down Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills, instructing Cotton to watch people as they passed and spot a murderer. After several guesses that Hitchcock swatted away as insufficient, Cotton told Hitchcock, what you're trying to say is that a murderer looks and moves just like anyone else, or vice versa, Hitchcock dryly replied. Hitch must have made his point because Cotton's performance in Shadow of Doubt is so indelible that some people mistakenly recollect him winning an Oscar for the role. For Completus, the Academy Award for Best Actor for 1943 went to Paul Lucas for Watch on the Rhine. Joe Cotton wasn't even nominated. Despite great performances in a number of memorable films, including this one, Citizen Kane, The Magnificent Ambersons, Gaslight, The Third Man, he never earned a nomination from the Academy. Coming up, Joe Cotton stars in a 1941 romance with Merle Oberon. Lydia is next on Turner Classic Books.